Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to render videos in Camtasia Studio 7 or above or below in HD. Um, it will be very simple. All you need is Camtasia Studio, so get at www.camtasiastudio.com. So, um, go ahead and drag in your file of a video you recorded already. I already have mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag it. So, as we input it in, um, this process won't take that long and should be very quick. So, follow my step carefully. So, of course, drag in the video file into the timeline. This small window should pop up. Click on the drop down box of dimensions and scroll down until you see YouTube in HD widescreen 16x9, 1280x720. When you click on that, you can set it to 1080p when you set the width to 1920. And if you have the check mark box for keep aspect radi ratio, it should already put 180 for the height. And of course, it would have that black box thing here. So, of course, uh, just drag the timeline to the beginning of it so you can get rid of that. Click on the zoom and pan. Scroll up, and after that, you're in the zoom and pan options. Right click on that spot and click on snap to video edges. This feature is available in Camtasia Studio 7, so just a tip for that. Go back to the clip bin. After you're done doing necessary edits, uh, navigate to produce and share. Click on the drop down box and navigate to add slash edit preset and click on the production preset drop down box and navigate to HD after that click on the edit button you can choose a file format in this option right here uh, the default is mp4 you can choose others but I recommend the default click on next and you'll notice the custom size is still 1280 by 720 set it by 1920 by 180 which is when you want 1080p after that, you can choose the option of flash options. If you want smooth navigation on your videos, you can set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. So if you choose that, and you can choose the encoding mode to quality or bit rate. Quality will increase the file size a bit more, but if you have fast internet, you should be good. Go to the audio tab, you can choose the bit rate to uh, 256, which is like radio quality. Click on OK. After you got your settings done, click on Next. You can choose a watermark, which you should notice at the bottom right of my video right now. Go ahead and choose that. Navigate to an image path and choose where you want to get your picture or your uh, logo for screencasting. So as I'm choosing my own, micro helper, logos, and there we go. And after that, you can set the image scale to a little bit smaller, like let's say 6%. And after that, you set all your options for it. You can choose the opacity and you can choose the position to the left side top bottom right and yeah I choose mine default on the right side click on OK click on finish now your preset is done click on close now when you click on the drop down box and you choose HD it should be it um, you just click on next and you get to render your videos so I'm gonna make a demonstration I'm gonna save it to my desktop I'm gonna click on save and leave it on title um, I'm going to take out these uh, options here and just leave it at that. Click on finish. And the video should render, so I'll be back until it's done. After it's done rendering, if you chose that option to show product results, here is the information. And just click on finish. I'm going to close Camtasia Studio. And I'm just going to close it. You should see the video on the desktop named Untitled or whatever you named it. So I'm going to start it up. Let me just drag it from my other screen. And there you go, it's in HD. I didn't put it in a full screen, but normally when you put it in full screen, it should be 1920 by 180, and everything should be good. So I just have the black bars because, you know, I'm using uh, this. But yeah, it should turn out very good, and that should be it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.